And Iran was not just busy with diplomacy yesterday, its military was also active. Iran's Revolutionary Guard conducted an attack last night on two countries, Iraq and Syria. Tehran fired missiles at both countries late last night. In Iraq, the target was Mossad, the Israeli spy agency. Mossad apparently has a headquarters in Iraq. Iran claims to have destroyed it. And in Syria, the target was a terrorist group, ISIS. ISIS attacked Iran earlier this month and Iran was out for revenge. Our next report has the details. Last night, Iran launched an attack. Multiple missiles were fired at Iraq and Syria. Iran says it had two targets, Israeli spies based in Iraq and the terror group ISIS based in Syria. Iranian state media actually broadcast the attacks, purportedly showing the missiles launch and when they hit their mark. In Iraq, the target was the city of Erbil. It's the capital of Iraq's Kurdistan region. Kurdistan is an autonomous region in Iraq, home to ethnic Kurdish people. Reports say that 6 to 10 missiles struck Erbil last night. Iran says it was aiming for Mossad, Israel's infamous spy agency. Iran says Mossad had an espionage headquarters in Erbil and they claim to have destroyed it. Israel has not commented on these Iranian claims, but some Kurdish locals have. We were sitting safely and peacefully in our house. Suddenly, around 11.10, we heard a big explosion which caused glass shattering in all windows of this house. So, I came out and there were two other that hit the house in front of us. There was a family in that house and I believe many of them were killed in the attack. The Prime Minister of Iraq's Kurdistan region has also spoken out. What's surprising, we are not a part of this conflict. We don't know why Iran is retaliating against civilians of Kurdistan, especially in Erbil. Uh, we have no animosity towards any of our neighbors, especially Iran. Uh, this has been uh, an, you know, another attack that uh, in, in the past few years, there have been other attacks also against Kurdistan. We don't know uh, what the reasons are, but all of the, all of the allegations that they have uh, made are baseless. Some reports say that an Iranian missile did hit an intelligence center, but it was apparently Kurdish, not Israeli. Both Iraqi and the local Kurdish authorities are outraged. They say Iran's strikes are a violation of Iraq's sovereignty. Iraq has recalled its ambassador from Tehran for consultations. They've also summoned Iran's Chargé d'Affaires in Baghdad. He was handed a letter of protest over the strikes. Relations between the two neighbours were bound to go downhill. But it could have been much worse, because the attacks took place near a US consulate in Erbil. The US has both a consulate and a military base in the city. So it's a risky place for Iran to attack. But no Americans were injured last night and no US buildings were damaged so Washington may not be forced to act. They have condemned Iran's strikes and called them reckless. But that seems to be all for now. However, this wasn't Iran's only attack last night. It also struck Syria. Here, Iran says it was targeting the terror group ISIS. This was a more straightforward affair. ISIS had attacked Iran on the 3rd of January. The terrorists set off two bombs in the city of Karman. They killed at least 84 Iranians who had gone to mourn at the grave of Iran's fallen general, Qasim Soleimani. So Iran wanted revenge on ISIS and that's why it struck Syria. This is the result. Iran says its strike was successful, but here too, locals disagree. They say the Iranian missiles struck an abandoned medical clinic and that no one was there when missiles hit. Syria and Iran are allies. The part of Syria Iran struck is controlled by rebels. Rebel groups who have been fighting the Syrian government for over a decade. They are regularly attacked by foreign nations and Syria doesn't lift a finger. Some of the rebel groups in Syria are Kurdish and they're regularly targeted, especially by Turkey. Ankara has been on the offensive against the Kurds for weeks in both Syria and Iraq. Iraq hasn't been saying much about the Turkish attacks and now Iran has attacked the Kurds too. The Kurdish people are under fire from both sides. 
Syria doesn't care, Iraq hasn't done enough to prevent this. Baghdad's reaction to the latest Iranian strikes may be encouraging, but too often it lets its neighbours get away with their violations. If things don't change, the Kurdish people will continue to be expendable pawns in West Asian politics.